Chapter 4 The pendant was right there, next to my clothes, Tesla said, pointing at the floor. She and her brother were in their bedroom on the second floor of Uncle Newt's house. Both of them were wearing bathrobes now. Nick had insisted on showering off his crunchy mud coating before he'd begin hunting for clues. At their bare feet were a muck-covered t-shirt and jeans. Jeez, Tez, Nick groused. You are such a slob sometimes. I was in a hurry to get all the gunk off me, okay? Anyway, we're not here to critique my housekeeping skills. We're here to find a fingerprint. So let's get to it. Right. Both Nick and Tesla were holding nail files and pencils, and they crouched down and began rubbing them together. It's a good thing Uncle Newt doesn't have shag carpet, Nick said. This hardwood floor should be perfect for... Hey, I think I got one already, led on the floor in front of her brother. He was right. A pattern was emerging. Nick leaned in and blew lightly on the powder. As it spread, another pattern appeared, then another, then another and another. They hadn't just found a single fingerprint, they'd found five. Tesla helped Nick cover them with more powder. After a bit more careful blowing, though, it became clear that four of the prints were smudged. I think the thief's fingers only brushed over the floorboards when he picked up the, where he or she picked up your pendant, Nick said. The middle finger's always the longest, though. It looks like it pressed a little harder than the others. See? Indeed, the middle print was clearer than the rest and had the oval shape Tesla expected from fingerprints. The others were more like smears. Useless. Give me the tape, Nick said. I'm going to try and lift the print. Tesla pulled a roll of scotch tape from her, the pocket of her bathrobe and handed it to her brother. Be careful, she said. Nick glowered at her. When was he not careful? Then broke off a piece of tape about two inches long. Slowly, carefully, he brought it down towards the little black ridges and swirls on the floor. He pressed the tape onto them and waited. Then he lifted. The fingerprint came up with the tape. It worked, Nick said. It actually worked. You say that like you're surprised, Tesla said. I am, Nick admitted. I got that trick from a movie. While Nick beamed proudly at the tape, Tesla pulled an index card and marker from the other pocket of her bathrobe. Well, you can't just sit there staring at it all day, she said. She put the card on the floor in front of her brother. He nodded, stuck the tape to the card, and then picked up the marker. On the back of the card he wrote, The bad guy, or lady. Not necessarily, Tesla said when she read the words. I just realised whose prints we have to compare the sample to first. Whose? Tesla cocked an eyebrow and held up her hands and wiggled her fingers. Oh, Nick said. Right. It was their room. They had to make sure their fingerprint wasn't theirs. And if it was, they had nothing. Nick and Tesla were hunched over three index cards. One had the bad guy, or lady, written on it. One had Tesla written on it. One had Nick written on it. Tesla and Nick also had two black smudges on them. Nick and Tesla cards also had two black smudges on them. The prints from each of their middle fingers. Every finger has a different pattern on the skin. And because Nick and Tesla weren't sure if the print they'd picked up from the floor was from a left or right hand, they had to check both of their own. For several minutes, the kids moved their gazes from one card to the next, to the next, and then back to the first to start over. The print from your left is kind of loopy, Tesla said, but the print from your right is kind of archy. Your left is kind of whirly, said Nick, but your right is kind of swirly. He squinted even harder at the black pattern. And I think I see a clown on it. Tesla rolled her eyes. Knock it off, we're not staring at clouds. They went back to examining the cards in silence. Who knew CSI work was so boring, Nick said eventually. 
Not me, said Tesla. Another minute went by. I don't see anything that matches, Tesla announced. Me neither, said Nick. He smiled and tapped the bad guy card. So this is from the spy. Tesla shook her head. Nick's grin wilted. Who else could it be from, he said. Uh, maybe the guy who owns the house? Oh, right, Uncle Newt. Tesla nodded. We need to make sure the print's not from him. Which means we have to fingerprint him without tipping off the spy. Nick's smile returned. No, we won't, he said. I know where Uncle Newt's already left us all the fingerprints we'll need. Nick and Tesla got dressed, went downstairs to the kitchen, passing the maids who were debating whether to vacuum the polar bear in the hallway, and found a jumbo bag of spicy pork rinds in the pantry. They smuggled it back upstairs under Nick's t-shirt. No one in the house touched the pork rinds except Uncle Newt, ever. No matter how many times he said, Oh, come on, kids. It's just like potato chips made out of deep-fried pig skin. Doesn't that sound delicious? Nick and Tesla didn't even have to bother dusting the bag for prints. It was covered with them already. They were bright red, the same colour as the fiery seasoning coating on the rinds. After a few minutes looking from the bad guy card to the bag and back again, Nick, Nick and Tesla turned to each other. Not him, Tesla said. Not him, Nick said. Which means we really, truly, this time for sure, know the fingerprints on the floor came from the spy. Yes. Excellent. Finally. Progress. Now all we have to do is get samples from all our suspects and then... A haunted, hopeless look came over Nick's face as his words trailed off. You haven't thought about how we're going to get all those sample fingerprints, have you? Tesla asked him. Nick shook his head forlornly. Tesla put a hand on his shoulder. That's okay, she said, because I have. <laughs>